You're with head coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watchering after the Carson Newman 10-2 loss to Lincoln Memorial and coach Quentin Yoakum really gutted it out after the first inning. He allowed three runs in the first inning. He retired the next eight batters and, and then went eight plus for you. What did you think about his performance? Well, I think he would tell you as well um, that first inning, you know, the, 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 the crooked number. Uh, he just left the ball out over the plate a little bit, and uh, and he said that, you know, he just made a couple mistakes, and uh, credit to LMU, they, they took advantage of those mistakes of being out over the middle, but how you handle that, and you, you're right, he did a great job keeping us, you know, in the game, and uh, giving us some hope there later on, no question. Offensively, Cody Fox hits a home run, but other than that, you guys get a couple hits here and there, some hit batters here and there, yeah. but it seemed like nobody came up with a hit to either the right, right side of the infield, a sacrifice fly, something to move a guy over. Right, yeah, it, it's the little things like that. you got to find a way to put a couple hits together and get a crooked number up there. We've had you know, too many one uh, one runs. We need to get a crooked number on the board, and so, yeah, you got to find some uh, multiple hits get that big hit with two strikes or two outs, something to kind of get that inning going a little bit and hopefully get them to maybe make a change. Uh, Logan Sawyer did a phenomenal job pitching. Uh, with runners on base, he did a great job making pitches. So uh, credit to him because uh, that was an outstanding performance. You guys were just starting to put some things together. You're trailing 5-2 headed to the ninth inning, and then you give up five runs. You went with Yoakum to start the inning. Walk us through kind of your thought process heading into that inning. Well, he, he, you know, he's a bulldog and he's your number one, so you want to keep him in there. And then uh, the relievers that we used, uh, they've been they've been fine for us. I mean, they're the type of guys that get ground balls. They're sinker type pitchers, and uh, um, you know, for for Cogliano, one of the things that's important is you got to get the outs early. Um, and then the kid did a great job battling some pitches. So the more he got to see more comfortable he got, and then the ball was left out over the plate. Uh, but, you know, he had fouled off the couple pitches that it could have easily been, and that's the game of baseball. They could have easily been a ground ball double play. They could have been popped up. Uh, he kept the bat alive, and uh, credit to him for, for hitting it. Two more games tomorrow. You have Vince Apicella and Dustin Dunigan tomorrow. I know we've talked about a different attitude from this team. What needs to happen overnight tonight, tomorrow, to get a couple wins? Well, uh, uh, we, we've talked about this. We're, we're a good club, and some of this has to do with just confidence and and um, not realizing, okay, oh, here we go again. It's it's not that at all. I mean, there, there's a phrase right now, all is well, and uh, you got to see that phrase no matter when things are going good and when things are going bad. It's uh, all is well. And, um, you know, it, it's funny. Um, tough game today, no question, because I, I – we really believed we were going to come out and really get after it and, and, and win this, I think. That, that was our mindset. Uh, and even falling behind, we felt that way. But there were other things that took place after the game. Of uh, you know, We have a young man that's got a situation at home right now that uh, you, you start to realize that, all right, it's a game. We'll get through this. No problem. It'll pass. Um, and we'll play the way we're capable of. But it, as a coach, you start to realize, listen, it's a game. We'll, we got to make some adjustments. We got to work on some stuff. Guys will gain their confidence. But uh, there's a lot of other things in this world right now that are going on that uh, um, are more important. And I do think it's God's way of saying, hey, you're going to get adversity. Let's see how you handle that adversity. We, we've been through it. I've been through it for 25 years as a coach. You're going to go through times like this. I think if you keep your faith in God, if you keep your faith in each other, um, you'll get through it. When you lose that faith, um, that's, when it, that, that's when you're never going to learn anything from it and you're never going to know how to deal with it later in life. So these are all lessons, there's no question. As much as it hurts and it should hurt as a competitor, we also realize that the sun's gonna come up tomorrow and uh, we're gonna have an opportunity to do something that we're blessed to do. And, and that's the mindset we gotta have for it. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you, Michael, thank you. For Head Coach Tom Griffin, I'm Michael Watchering. Tomorrow, noon and two, will be on the air at 11.50 a.m. on the Eagle Sports Network. I'm Michael Watchering here on cneagles.com.